Hey everyone, this is Scott Volker and what I wanted to do in this video is go over senior photography. I wanted to show you something that I think is really cool and a lot of the kids are talking about in their schools because some photographers are doing it but not a lot of them are and I really think that you should be because if you do kids are going to talk about this and when they talk about this it's going to spread virally because they're your best marketing tool ever. Make a kid happy, make a kid think that the image is really cool and then they're going to bring the pictures and show all of their friends and then their friends are going to be calling you because they're going to say that they want them done to their parents and most of the time they're going to get them done especially if they're just so excited about them and you can get them really excited. Now this isn't the image I'm talking about. I'm not talking about this image of them getting excited about. Now will mom get excited about this? Probably. It's a nice photo and um, you know her daughter would look beautiful and it is a great shot but it's a traditional shot. It's standard and what I want to show you and I think you know what I'm going to show you is a digital background that's going to make this look so much different, so much cooler and that the kids are going to talk about. So let me show you that right now. I'm going to pull up this image right here. Now this image literally probably took me less than five minutes to put together. I took the image, I cut out the image, I inserted it into the digital background. Now this digital background is in Urban Collection 1 and it's image number 8. So if you're in our Digital Creations Club, you have access to this. If you're not in our club, you can join the club or eventually it will be in our store. But a lot of our store items get put there after they get put in the club and sometimes it takes a while to get them there. Quite honestly, because we're so busy with everything else, our store items uh, usually get updated last, but the club gets gets uh, updated every single month. So um, if, you, if you like this style that I'm about to show you, you're going to want to go check out the club. But anyway, this image right here, like I said, took me less than five minutes to do. And what I'm going to do right now is show you how we can even make this image a little bit cooler. Now, I'm just going to point a few things out. You can see I took this image, which already looks good, right? I mean, her eyes are in a good spot right here. You know, they're not totally in the center. And um, we're using a little bit of the thirds here. But um, the proportioning is good. Her shoulders are twisted nice, so it's a nice pose. But what I did here is I just turned her a little bit. I took the same pose right here and I just turned her a little bit, giving it a different style. You can see this in the background, uh, that's in the background, that's actually framing her now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something really cool. And I showed a, uh, an exact method on how I do this. I'm going to go through it really quick right now because I don't want this video to be too long, but I showed this in the club uh, exactly how I do this. But I just take this, this layer right here, this uh, background, and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to drag it to the top of that layer. Okay, turn it off, turn it on. And then I'm going to go up here to my layers and I'm going to go to multiply. And now you can start to see she's coming back through. So now what I'm going to do is grab my eraser and got it about 51%. Slightly erase over her face. Maybe a little bit down into the blue so we can see a little bit of that. Maybe over here. So that way it kind of leads in, maybe up in the hair a little bit. And I can leave that just like that. Now look what I've done. I've taken that image and I've created another image that looks, I think, even a little bit better. Just, a, just It's got a little bit more creative style to it. Now seniors are going to love this. Now if you like it the other way, you can show them it this way and show them it that way. It took me less than 30 seconds as I'm talking through it to do that, that one technique. So... Now what I could do is add her name real quick. I already picked my color up here. I just went in here and picked the color out. Say okay. I can go down here. Hit Jess 2009. Hit okay. I'm going to bring it down in here. And now what I usually do is I'll duplicate that layer. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Gaussian blur on it. It says rendering or uh, rasterize. I say OK. Got it at about 23%. And then I'm going to bring this up to the very top of that layer. So that way it's got a little bit of a sharper edge. And then I think what I'm going to do is go and put a little bit of a stroke on that. And probably black. Just to, uh, to give it a little bit of a detail that so you can actually see it. And 
that should probably do it. Let me go down here. Then I would just go and flatten the image, and then I've got an image that I can show the client and I can get a lot of money for that and let me just tell you something they're gonna show their friends that that is cool that is hip that's what people want that's what the kids want this is what mom wants so give them one of each and I hope by watching this video you can see how easy it is to use digital backgrounds in your photography and you should be don't be afraid of them and don't say well it's gonna cheapen my work it's not it's gonna make you different and it's gonna allow you to have more options at your fingertips to offer your clients and when you have more options to offer your clients they're gonna purchase more for your business it's it's really that simple so that's it I hope you got a lot out of this video again if you are interested in our digital creations club you can go visit the website and um, it's really inexpensive to join and I think after you see the details you'll agree so that's it I'll talk to you later take care